Welcome to Sacred Space on the Air, an hour of radio broadcast hosted by the Dominican Sisters of Regina Rosarii and our lay partners, the Regina Rosarii Contemplative Association. Join us, create your sacred space wherever you are, for deep within you now is a sacred space and to God we bow for this gift of grace. Good evening, our dear online followers and friends. Welcome to Sacred Space Online. Dito sa Regina Rica. Tonight, please join us in an hour of quiet prayers, the reading of Psalm 30, and listen to sounds that soothe and heal our tired spirits. And also listen to guided meditation. For all of you, online viewers, listeners, friends, lay mission partners, benefactors throughout the world, please open your Regents book to page 14. Regents book. And together, let us pray contemplative prayer. Okay? Jesus, Jesus, my beloved one, is with me now, right here within my heart. Jesus looks at me with love. I stay quiet in His presence, conscious of His loving days. Jesus is standing in front of me, gazing lovingly at me. I rest in His love. I just let go and relax. I am at peace. I am with Jesus. Jesus is in me. Sa ating online viewers, friends, pagkasubaybay, lay mission partners, sisters, fathers, who are joining us in this online sacred space in online, please join us as we pray. We pray in these turbulent times that we will have the faith in the gospel reading for today that woman was willing to put all her faith in the crumbs that can be eaten by dogs sa ilalim ng mesa. So kung tayo lahat may faith katulad ng kaananite woman, we too could claim healing. Dito po sa Regina Rica, nandito si Mama Mary na gumagabay sa atin. Yung kanyang kapa ay malawak. Hindi lamang sa Regina Rica, pero she goes to your places, to the different places in the world so that she can, you can feel secure, you can feel her love, you can feel her care, you can feel Mama Mary accompany each and every one of us. And may the blessings of Almighty God be upon each and every one of us through the intercession of Mama Mary Regina Rosari be with us tonight in this online uh, online contemplative prayer that we have with you. Amen. So sa ngayon, Nagasubaybay, please join us as you listen to the seven bells.
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. So our online friends, followers, no? uh, lay mission partners, benefactors throughout the world, no? uh, please listen to Sister Epi as she prays Psalm 30. Saan to ito mahanap? Mahanap niyo po ito sa CD Psalms of Praise, track. Psalm 30 I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love Him. Give thanks to His holy name. His anger lasts a moment, His favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, Nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face, and I was put to confusion. And so to you, Lord, I cried. To my God I made appeal. What profit would my death be? My going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? And so the Lord listened and had pity on me. The Lord came to my help. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O oh Lord my God, I will thank you forever. The Lord listened and had pity on me. The Lord came to my help. The Lord came to my help. And I will thank you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat, mga taga-subaybay, mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Palawan at iba-iba pang isla kung saan man tayo napapanood. Through live video stream, kami po ang inyong mapapakinggan at nakikita sa Facebook ng Regina Rica at sa YouTube channel ni Sister Epi Brazil. Kami po ang inyong mga lingkod. Sister Matthew Brazil. Good evening po mga taga-subaybay. Sister Menchi Advincola. Magandang gabi po. Galing sa Regina Rica. Sister Elena tayo. Maayong gabi sa inyo tanan. At ang inyo pong lingkod, mga, kap, mga uh, katagasubaybay, Sister Brenda. Mga online listeners and followers, napakaganda po ng ating salmong ngayong gabi. Ito ay mula sa salmo tatlong po. Sister Matt, ano po ba talaga ang ibig sabihin sa salmong ito? Uh, sister, at uh, mga taga-subaybay, Ang psalm na ito, very unique. Ang title, The Song, A Song at the Dedication of the House of David. The psalmist thought that it was actually written prophetically for the dedication para sa templo, which David prepared for. 
but, but Solomon built it. Nevertheless, we take this psalm as being written for the dedication of David's palace. It says nothing about the house itself. Rather, it focuses on God and the greatness of his deliverance at the dedication of, the, of David's house. David wanted God to be praised, not himself. Galing ano? Tama po yan, mga taga-subaybay, online viewers and listeners and lay mission partners. Ganda yung pagkasabi ni Sister Matthew, no? David wanted God to be praised, not himself. Tutu naman eh. Lahat ng... <clears throat> We're experiencing lahat ng beautiful things, lahat ng nakikita natin, lahat ng kalikasan, nature, everything else comes from God, no? And true enough, we have to thank God for it, no? Ang ganda ng uh, Psalm 30, no? Kasi it says here, no? Uh, thank uh, David, no? Nag-thank you siya kay Lord. This is a, uh, this is a uh, prayer of thanksgiving, no? Thanks for the victory of our enemies. You see, David at that time, no, there were enemies running after him. Kahit tayo ngayon, we have COVID-19, no? Hindi natin alam kung saan nakukuha yung COVID-19, no? So katulad ni David, we could also say, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. No? Uh, there are... Uh, we, we pray continually every day no so, para sa lahat natin no na hindi tayo ma-contaminate ng COVID-19 no and so alam ni alam na alam ni David no going back to David alam na alam ni David how difficult it is no na mag-ikya sa, uh, sa sa enemy ganun din po sa atin ngayon no sa kapanahunan ngayon hindi nga natin alam kung paano tayo na i-infect, uh, paano yung ibang tao na i-infect ng COVID-19. Kasi sabi naman nila, maraming kayong nababasa, they put naman face mask, naguhugas naman sila ng kamay, and yet, sometimes they are found negative, uh, negative positive, no? So, yung, 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 alam nyo, yung, 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 uh, yung tema, no, ni David, no, uh, nagpapasalamat siya talaga, no? And, you know, as a joy ni David, no? Sa sobrang niyang papasalamat, sabi na nila, and David danced. No? They, yung parang he was so expressive. He danced for the Lord. No? Uh, ako naman, pag umaga, uh, I go walk. No? Nag-walk ako. Si Sister Brenda, nakikita ko rin yan doon sa kay Mama Mary. Hindi ko maintindihan at 4.30, no? nagigising kami, no? and we walk. No? Kanya-kanya kaming lakad. I pray the rosary. O yung parang ang ganda ng papasalamat ka, no? Imagine, no, kung nandun na kami sa Quezon City, siguro maglalakad ka sa street, no? Nagka-mask ka, no? Dito sa Regina Rica, naglalakad ka, wala kang mask, no? At the same, you feel the breeze, no? Ang lamig talaga ng breeze. And then, uh, I, I pray the rosary together with uh, the rosary for healing ni Sister Epi, no? Habang nag ako dun sa taas. At the same time, para nag-exercise ka na rin, no? Feel mo yung, uh, nakikita mo yung mga bulaklak, nakikita mo yung uh, bukang liwayway, no? Doon kay Mama Mary, no? And it's beautiful, no? To thank the Lord God na nakakagising ka pa, na sa awa ng Diyos, wala kang sakit, no? Na sa awa ng Diyos, you are healthy and strong. So, this is all a thanksgiving. Kayo rin po, inaanyayahan namin, mga, uh, mga taga-subaybay, no? mga online viewers, no? That uh, let's give thanks to the Lord for everything that the Lord is gifting us. So mga taga-subaybay, balikan po natin ang Salmo 3 po. Uh, dito po ay makikita natin na alam ni Haring David kung paano siya itinatag ng Panginoon na maging hari ng Israel. At alam ng Panginoon na si Haring David ay may kakayanan na itaguyod at maging tahimik ang bayan ng Israel. At inalagaan ni Haring David ang karian at alam din ni Haring David na ang karian na iyon ay hindi sa kanya. Huwag bagkos, ito ay pa para sa Panginoon, para sa sambayanan. So kagaya din natin dito sa Regina Rica, 
Originary ka ay hindi natin ito uh, pinatayo para lang sa mga sisters. But ito po ay para sa Panginoon at para sa lahat ng mga tao na pumupunta dito na nag mayroon devotion kay Mama Mary. So dapat lang po natin din na pasalamatan ng ating Panginoon na binigyan po tayo ng biyaya na magkaroon po ng Regina Rica upang maraming tao po ang makalapit po sa ating Panginoon. Yan, tama po yan mga taga-subaybay, no? Hindi laman po yung kagaya ng sinasabi dito, yung templo, ay yung chapel po natin, mayroon po tayo para po yan sa mga sa mga mga pilgrims natin at para rin po sa ating lahat yan, hindi lamang po sa isang tao, okay? At mga taga-subaybay, at alang-alang po sa kapakanan ng bayan ng Israel, alam ni David, na siya ay ginamit ng Panginoon bilang isang channel upang pagpalain ang kanyang bayan. Kaya siya ay pinangaralan ng ating Panginoon para sa bayan ng Israel. At dito sa verse na, ng Salmo, For you have lifted me up. At dito ay pinala, panili, ipinaliwanag kung bakit kailangan niyang purihin ang Panginoon. Ito ay dahil alam niya na ang kanyang kasigaraduhan at kaligtasan ay tangi sa Panginoon lamang ng gagaling. At kung anong meron man siya ito, ay dahil ipinagkalob sa kanya ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Lalo na kung papaano niya patatakbuhin ang karyaan na iyon. And sa psalm naman nito, dito na David, uh, nag-change, no? He was able to be thankful for kanina, uh, so many things. Pero ngayon, deliverance from sickness, ang verse dito. Sabi ni David, O oh Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. So, nagkasakit pala si David. Healing is almost always literal in the Old Testament. And David appears to use it here to refer to the deliverance from physical malady. So apparently, David faced an illness which brought him to the point of despair. So point of despair siya because it's natural. Kung may sakit tayo, number one, takot tayo. Number two, we are going to be desperate because then bakit ba nagkasakit? Just like what Sister Meng was telling kanina, na meron babae, 27 years old, and then, na for first, wana lang niya, she, she was able to feel a little bit um, anxious because she has the, 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 ano, the, the warning signs na may virus siya, not knowing na COVID pala yun. So, na ano siya, na she went into the point of uh, being anxious and then goes into the point of despair because when she, she, she found out na, na may sakit pala siya, she went to be um, hospitalized and then she was able to, ha to undergo so much of the grueling thing. Okay? So, si David then faced an illness that brought him to the point of despair. Pero magaling naman, si, si David on, did not went on to be despair, but he prayed to the Lord and experienced then physical healing. And after that, the physical healing, he got deliverance from death. This is a point where it is important to understand that the, the Old Testament is generally this worldly. It focuses on what we experience during the time of our physical lives in experience that. And that is not to say that the afterlift was not acknowledged and that this, it is not important, only that it wasn't there for focus. And the important, it was not the focus, pero ang focus at this time is that he got healed as is always. So I would like to pa, balikan ko yung uh, yung ano yung yung Psalm 30 no. Yung sinasabi dito, I will praise you Lord, you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. Ang hirap talaga no sa panahon na ni David no, especially nang hinahanting na siya ni Saul, ang hirap talaga magtago kasi ang dami-daming sundalo 
na naghahabol sa iyo, no? Pero ang sabi ni David, O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. So makikita niya yung uh, tulong sa kanya ng Panginoon. So ito yung point ngayon, no? O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead. Restore me to life from those who sink in the grave, no? So parang mafeel ko, no, yung sa ngayong panahon, no, ang dami-dami nagsasabi, no, Uh, gaya ng mga uh, kami sa medicine group namin, uh, may dinadasal kami nga Doktora Karen. Siyempre, nasa frontliners, si mga kaklasa, kaklasik ko ng mga doctors. And uh, the doctors who are frontliners, yung parang masasabi mo na uh, even though how careful they are, parang yung isang paa nila nasa hukay na talaga. No? Ang hirap, no? So, but then, no? E, um, feeling namin mataimtim yung dasal sa Panginoon Diyos, no? na we are here to save lives, we are here to help our, uh, our countrymen, uh, pe uh, people from all walks of life, no, na nagkakasakit, no, and ang, ang mafe-feel namin na when the Lord, no, uh, uh, makikita mo na na how the Lord accompanies you, no, na nakakasave ka sa sarili mo, nakakasave ka rin sa mga, uh, mga tao na nagkakasakit. So I remember, sa itong uh, area na to, I remember Gingging Tagat, no? Uh, estudyante po siya ni Sister Epi, no? Uh, siya ay isang nurse, no? Na nagpa-practice doon sa Sacramento, sa USA. And then, doon siya assigned sa uh, ICU. Alam mo naman sa ICU, ngayon yung mga ICU, uh, hindi lang mga fatal diseases ang nandun sa ICU. Ang dami ng COVID patients niya sa ICU, no? And so, You can experience with her uh, sometimes a bit of depression when she sees no na mga pasyente niya na namamatay kaya nakaka nakakasama ng loob pa naman yan namamamatyan ka ng pasyente but she she has so much prayers and great hope no kami uh, mga sisters we really pray for her every day no and to all the frontliners no na they will have that a great courage no na nandyan yung kamay ng Panginoon na gumagabay para makatulong sila sa kapwa. Yes po, mga taga-subaybay, kahit nasabihin man natin na ang Salmo tatlong po ay isang Salmo ng pagpahalaga sa templo. Ito rin po ay isang Salmo na uh, ng panalangin at pagpapasalamat ni Haring David. Tayo rin po, mga taga-subaybay, ay iniligtas ng ating Panginoon sa coronavirus na ito. Kaya po, dapat lang po tayo ay manalangin at magpapasalamat sa ating Panginoon, kagaya ni Haring David, na siya ay iniligtas nito sa kanyang karamdaman. At sana po, patuloy po tayong manalangin na tayo ay iligtas sa ating sa kasulukuyan naghihirap ang at ng mga pagsubok sa atin ng pandemyang ito. So kami po dito na mga sisters ay nanalangin ng mataimtim para sa lahat na humihingi ng aming panalangin na yung mga na victims ng coronavirus sila po ay gagaling at Uh, maging safe din ang lahat na hindi uh, hindi sila maging uh, magkaroon ng sakit ng COVID-19. So, kagaya din ni Haring David, na kailangan talaga natin manalangit magpapasalamat sa ating Panginoon na palagi tayo safe, na hindi tayo matamaan ng COVID-19. So, mga online viewers, listeners, friends, uh, lay mission partners, sisters, fathers, this is Sacred Space Online from Regina Rica. For comments, please text us at 0917-796-3622. 0917-796-3622. Kung may mga suggestions po kayo, Uh, please text us there. Uh, whatever comes to your mind, prayer uh, request, uh, pakitext na lang sa 0917 796 3622.
So, balik po tayo sa ating, uh, dito sa at mga taga-subaybay, dito sa ating Salmo 30. Um, Sister Matt, ano pa po ba yung ating regarding po sa Psalm na ito? Ano po ba yung maidagdag niyo pong masasabi niyo tungkol sa kay Haring David? Sa Salmo, we are to reflect the attitude, attitude naman ito ni David sa Psalm 30. Think of the prayers that you have in your life. How many kinds of prayers do you say? And there are times when you can only say simply thank you. Sabi, sabi ng isang saint, that if we spend our life and we spend our day just saying thank you to the Lord, then tama na yan. That is a prayer. So we do not have, we do not need to have long prayers. We only need The, the prayer that is from the heart. Obviously, there is nothing wrong with the prayer for help and comfort. Our Lord knows that life is to be a task and not a vacation. He wants us to depend on Him in all matters in our lives. That is why the, at this time, we are really going to be very sure that He is really with us because Siya na lang Our life depends on Him, and no matter what, it, it, He is there in our lives. However, it is as important to pray when we are in the mountain top, mountain top when we are joyful, as well as when we are in the valleys, valleys, mga trials and life, just as this time. Ito po yan, mga taga-subaybay, no? Uh, balikan natin yung buhay natin. Before the COVID-19, no? uh, most of us, uh, naririnig ko, uh, uh, too busy tayo kasi there's so great success, there's so much prosperity, no? na kumisan hindi na, we, we feel so important, na kumisan hindi na natin alam kung saan tayo pupunta, may mga meeting dito, may mga meeting di, eh, diyan, too busy, kumisan wala na nga tayong uh, kayo, wala na kayong panahon kumisan sa mga families, no? kami kumisan, Dumadating dito, uh, may meeting sa umaga doon sa mother house, may meeting sa gabi sa Regina Rica, may meeting naman sa umaga sa mother house. Mm -hmm. no, yung parang yung travel, yung travel no? yung nakakapagod na rin. No? Na ako minsan pagdating mo na lang sa bed mo, all you can do is uh, the say uh, uh, prayers and then go to sleep. No? But then COVID-19 came. So what happened? Ngayon ang daming oras natin para magdasal, no? And uh, we are not busy with meetings, no? But before that, no, I have a remembrance, no, ng 911. Kasi andun ako sa US at that time. I was in Jersey City. Alam mo, after 911, puno yung mga simbahan na mga tao, no? Sa dito naman sa COVID-19, hindi pwede maraming tao kasi kung minsan 10% na daw yung tao sa simbahan. And yet, no, tingnan ninyo yung Facebook. Tingnan niyo yung mga text, no? It's always prayers. I, I, we're sending each other prayers. Uh, yung iba, nag-zoom nag uh, meeting para mag-pray lang ng rosary. No? Um, uh, na, we have more time to be with our families, to be with our loved ones, to be with your children, no? Kami, as a congregation, we're all here at Regina Rica, no? And we have more time to pray. Kaya, in the afternoon, we have... The contemplative uh, adoration also to the Blessed Sacrament, no? Contemplative prayers. So, uh, the whole day, na, nasa adoration kami, no? Kasi every 13th day of the month, then, uh, with the Sister Epi has dedicated that to Our Lady. Remember, there was a time na wala kaming kakayanan. We, we don't know where to get the money to buy Regina Rica. Kung alam nyo, hindi nyo alam na binili po natin yung, Regina, yung land ng Regina Rica. So doon nagsimula no, yung 13th day adoration na commitment natin kay Mama Mary as she accompanied us in Regina Rica na nabili na natin ito. And she continues to accompany us. No? So adoration natin. So we have more time to pray. We have more time for God. We have more time for relationships. And we have more time for friends. Yan. Tama po yan mga katagasubaybay. No, hindi lang mo sa prayer kasi mayroon din po po yung time for recreation. Okay? Mas parang, parang nagkaroon kami ng maraming oras para sa isa't isa dito sa nangyaring COVID-19 na ito. 
So mga taga subaybay, alam niyo po na si Haring David, balikan po natin ang Salmo 3 po, nakaranas din po siya ng paghihirap sa buhay, subalit din nagbabago ang kanyang relationship with the Lord. So makikita po natin ito sa verse 5 ng Salmo. For anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. It is absolutely critical for Christians to keep the events of experiences of this life in perspective. This life is temporary, yet people can become so focused on the issues of this life. This country in this world have faith and hope are gradually squeezed out. Jesus made this very clear in his parable of the sower, where he war warned that the anxieties of life and the difficulties of rich, deceitfulness of riches can choke out the spirit. The now should never take priority. Over the eternal. So, tama, tama po yun talaga. Na, uh, ang mga pag we natin, it will not last forever. Uh, kung nag -re -re kung nag, -nag -we tayo at tight, morning comes na po, tayo po ay nag -re -re So, uh, kagaya din dito sa Rika, kahit noon, nung wala pa yung coronavirus, ma-experience po talaga namin yung kabisihan, ang kapaguran. Sa gabi, talagang sabi ni Sister Benji, tama talaga yan na pagdating sa, sa higaan sa gabi, talagang knockdown. But <laughs> when you wake up early in the morning, talagang masaya ka. It's because marami kang uh, mga tao na encounter, especially those people with different walks in life, Parang tuwang-tuwa ka na may nagawa ka talaga para sa Panginoon. So, ganyan po ang ating mission dito sa Rika na uh, talagang ma-accommodate natin yung mga tao na nagahanap talaga ng presensya ng ating Panginoon, especially ng dyan po ang ating mahal na ina. Okay, so tama po yan mga taga-subaybay, no? Kung titina naman po natin ngayon sa pamamagitan ng intervention ng ating Panginoon, ang isang magaling na samis ay nakaisip ng, ng lahat ng maayos dahil sa mga kasaganaan na natuklasan kung ano ang totoong kagalakan. Ang karanasan ng buong buhay sa nakapiling ang Panginoong Diyos. At karaniwang katangian para sa mga, sa, mga salmong ganitong uri ay hindi maaring matatahimik na lamang, kundi sila ay aawit at ng papasalamat at magsasabi kung ano ang ginawa ng Diyos at ang pagpupuri na maging saksi, ang mga salmo ay isang saksi sa, na nagaganap sa mga kabutihan ng Diyos. Kaya po mga tagsubaybay, kailangan po gumawa at sabayan po natin ito ng panalangin para tayo po ay mailitas sa kapahamakan, lalong-lalo na po sa salot na dulot ng ating mundo ngayon ang, ang uh, COVID-19. At dito lang po sa Regina Rica, iba, may iba't iba po tayong lugar kung saan tayo pwede manalangin. No? Mayroon po tayong labyrinth at mayroon din po maraming place, maraming lugar po tayo kung, kung pwede tayong manalangin. At isa na po dito ang ating sulod. Pero bago po natin pag-usapan itong ating sulod, pakinggan po umunta natin ang isang sacred song ni Sister Epi, ang Tota Polkra is Maria. At ito ay makikita po sa CD ni Sister Epi na Tota Polkra sa track 9 po. Diba sabi mo sister, introduce ni sister or sister Meng? Opo. Bigyan ng story. After the song po, uh, sister Menchi will, uh, sasabihin po sister Menchi sa atin kung sino po ang kumanta ng kantang ito. Uh, si, mga mga taga-subaybay, pakinggan po natin na isang kanta para kay Mama Mary dahil sa uh, sa kahapon po uh, is uh, June, August 15 is kapistahan po ng Ato Our Lady of Assumption. So, pakinggan po natin isang kantang, ito ay pinamagatan. Ito ay sacred song ni Sister Epi. Ang pamagat po nito ay Tuta Polkra S. Maria at makikita po ito sa CD ni Sister Epi na Tuta Polkra. Okay? So, pakinggan mo natin ito at mga taga-subaybay. Tota pulcra est Maria, tota pulcra 
Sister Epi. Alam mo yung kumanta nito? She was not a graduate of the Bachelors of Music from UST. Na-pick up siya ni Sister Epi from the crowd. No? And then, in-invite siya, we brought her to Hit Productions in, uh, in uh, Makati City and uh, we record, re-recorded her. Ang ganda-ganda na ang boses niya. Uh, in fact, uh, Sempre senior citizen na si Sister Menji. <laughs> Hindi ko masyado maalala yung pangalan. Pero I will promise you, I will look for her name and I will try to get in touch with her again. Ang ganda talaga. No? So, dito niyo mga taga-subaybay, no? online viewers and listeners, this is how the grace of God would touch our hearts if we are attuned and focused to the mercy of God in our prayers. No? Uh, bigla na lang natatouch ka ng Panginoon Diyos, no? So dapat makinig tayo, even in silence, let us listen. So, okay, so mga taga-subaybay, napakinggan niyo po yung kanta. Napakaganda po, no? It's about Mama Mary. So mga taga-subaybay, kasi po kapistahan nga po kahapon ni Our Lady of Assumption, ito po ay uh, pag-usapan po namin ngayon. Yung hindi na po ito kasama sa Salmo 30, ha? Ito po ay about Mama Mary, about sa sulod, kung saan po tayo nananalangin. So tatanungin ko po si Sister Matt kung ano po yung mga karanasan or mga na-experience niya tulong po kapag nandoon siya sa sulod na nananalangin. Sister Matt? Ang sulod, it looks very, very mysterious and very unique because nandoon siya, kaya nga tinawag namin sulod eh, because nandoon siya sa, sa inside ng ano ni Mama Mary. Eh, eh, sa inside Ilonggo ng, kasi yan eh, sulod. <laughs> sulod. Inside, inside ni Mama Mary, you, you think it is something... Um, special which is so you climb the stairs and you go up you thought tapos nang ang climb mo sang stairs pero hindi pala you are going to go inside a room but that room is inside the body of mama mary na makita niyo doon makita niyo dito sa sa picture meron meron dito inside yeah. <laughs> okay so that is Pag, pag, ano, pag, pag go inside ng mga tao, they go inside sulod. And napakaganda because what the first thing that is going to give an impression sa iyo is that there is the Blessed Sacrament. Whether the Blessed Sacrament is exposed or whether it is uh, not exposed, it still has the sacredness of the divine. Makita ninyo and you can feel it. And so, Maraming maraming tao uh, and different religion comes and visit Mama Mary. Because Mama Mary is the mother of all in the ba? This is the mother of the world. 
And so when you go and uh, when, when, when people come, maybe they will try to come and just see the, the Rika because they know it is a, a place where tourists go, a place where uh, Catholics go, a place where everybody go because it has different uh, ways to everyone. Pero when you go to Sulud, Sulud is something special. When you go there, maraming historia. When you go there, there are so many things that is going to be um, related to Mama Mary. And so my sisters and I will tell you some stories of their experiences over there in Sulud. Sinong mauna, si Sister Brenda? Ano nga acronym yung Sulud? Okay. No, Sulud is a longer word sa loob. Pero Sulud is also an acronym. Yeah, uh, acronym for Sulud is uh, un Sanctuary of Universal Love and Devotion. Yan po ang Sulud. Pag enter or pasok po in Tagalog. So sa Sulud naman, uh, there were times na ako yung assigned doon. And I will talk about healing. Alam mo yung kuminsan, uh, Uh, sabi ko kasi may mga tao na hindi naman namin na uh, nagsasabi sa amin na fourth stage na sila, na gumagaling sila. So kinikwento ko yan kung minsan. Alam mo kung minsan may mga humuhagulgul doon sa likod. Sabi nila, alam mo sister, mga balik-balik kami dito para magpapasalamat. Kasi ka ako, fourth, uh, fourth uh, cancer, uh, stage four uh, cancer of the colon, gumaling po ako. Ang dami-daming uh, nagsasabi na pumapunta sila kasi gumaling sila. So, sa sulod, uh, hindi lang po healing, but also blessings. So, may mga na-experience din po ako kasi may mga assignment po kami. May time po kami na uh, kami po ay nag-guard doon sa sulod dahil yun po ay uh, adoration chapel. So, one time, may na-encounter din po ako na uh, apat na nakausap ko na apat sila from Iloilo. At pagka following day, mag-take po sila ma ng uh, board exam sa uh, architecture. So, apat sila, but tatlo lang ang pumunta dito kay Mama Mary. So, sabi nila sa akin, sister, pwede po sa manyo kami na magdasal doon sa sulod kasi hingi kami ng blessings kay Mama Mary kasi tomorrow is our board exams. So, ang tatlo, pumasok doon sa sulod, sumama sila sa akin. So, nagpray po kami kay Mama Mary. Sabi ko nga, uh, i-claim niyo po kay Mama Mary na pasado na kayo. Pero yung isa nga hindi sumama, alam niyo hindi talaga pumasa sa board exam. Pero yung tatlo, talagang noong dumasal ng mataimtim, so na-feel ko talaga na they can make it. Kasi parang napakataimtim ang pagdasal nila humihingi talaga ng intercession kay Mama Mary na sila ay papasa sa board exam. So, after two weeks, tumawag na sila sa akin. Sister, maraming salamat. Yung aming board exam, tatlo kami ay pumasa. Yung isang kasama namin na hindi sumama ay hindi pumasa. Kaya, so, talagang sa sulod, healing, blessings, at mga graces talaga. So, marami talagang mga miracles na kiniklaim po ng ating mga pupunta dito na defined miracles talaga na through the intercession of Mama Mary. So mga katagasubaybay, hindi lamang po mga 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 matatanda, mayroon din po mga bata doon na kapag nagpray ka kasi sa sulod ay eh, pwede ka mag-adoration nyo. May schedule ako, tapos may mga bata kasi doon, di sila din ay natutong mag-pray ng contemplative prayer. Kung makikita nyo po sila, nandun lang sila ginagaya yung mga matatanda, pero yun yung dasal din na tinuturo din namin sa mga taong pumupunta sa Regina Rica. So mga tagasubaybay, kinakapos na tayo ng time eh, no? So, may I give you the announcement, no? Alam nyo, may online, uh, if you look at FB page, Regina Rica, may online selling tayo ng products natin, no? Uh, may online tayo na mga tinapay, no? Na pwede namin ipapa... Yung Rica Bread, di ba? Well-known yung Rica Bread. Pwede namin ipapadala sa Quezon City, sa Fridays, no? Every Friday, nagpapadala kami ng bread. 
if you could support, no, Mas, uh, masarap na yung bread, you can give it as gift to your friends. At the same time, support Regina Rica. Kasi sa ngayon, wala tayong pilgrim sa Regina Rica, so walang income yung Regina Rica. But we need to support our mother. No? Uh, at the same time, si Mama Mary ngayon, uh, ginagawa yung, alam mo, 10 years no. na siya, no? na wala, uh, hindi napalitan yung kanyang gold, uh, gold, gold clothes, no? uh, gold-colored clothes. No? So, sana, if you want to be part, no? if you want to sponsor, to be a benefactor, let's give Mama Mary uh, a happy birthday dress for her birthday sa September 8. No? Uh, so, i if a flash namin sa inyo yung bank account dan details no na power you could uh, uh, deposit no for uh, tulong sa uh, pagbibigay ng birthday uh, um, birthday uh, clothes para kay Mama Mary no so aside from um, aside from uh, bread no we have online products tingnan niyo sa FB page na in one way what way could you help us no kasi Ang sabi ngayon, ang giving, ang uh, buying is the best way of giving, no? And uh, we have also candle offerings, no? Uh, kung gusto ninyo, no, from, uh, from this time on until September 8, no? Let's give Mama Mary with uh, candle offerings. Pwede nyo ito ma-text sa 0955-285-8110. May chika si ito. 0955 285-8110 or you can call Marie Chris doon sa Manila uh, um, 8372-5327 ulitin ko po 8372-5327 no? so nandito rin tayo Facebook live streaming Holy Mass every Sunday at 11am you can join us at Facebook live streaming Holy Mass Every Sunday, 11 a.m. And we are also in Facebook Live, Contemplative Seat, every Thursday, 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Contemplative Seat through Facebook Live, every Thursday, 2.30 to 4.30 uh, p.m. And sa ngayon, alam mo, yung, uh, uh, yung, uh, yung parang uso ngayon, uh, di ba kinikrimate? No? Mm -mm. Mayroon tayong pahuwayan sa Regina Rica or Pasar. No? May pahuwayan. Ang maganda sa pahuwayan sa Regina Rica, it is a, a usuari, also it's a columbari. Uh, it's under the gaze, the loving gaze of Mama Mary. Kadalasan ngayon, mabilisan, hindi as an, nasa hospital, hindi maharap yung mga relatives kasi sa takot ng COVID-19. And then pagkatapos, uh, our our loved ones die alone and then pagkatapos kinikremit na no wala na nga wake no kasi bawal yung gathering of people but here you can give solace no you can give the loving care of mama mary under her loving case uh, care at regina rica so may online selling tayo ng pahuwayan or oswari you can still get in touch with mary chris 8372 5327 so, hindi natin alam kung kailan mag-open yung Regina Rica. Pero ready na kami ng aming protocols. Uh, pakia, we will try to show it to you sa Facebook and also in our, we will now open our our uh, uh, website. No? So, re-open natin yung website para makita ninyo yung protocols at anong dapat ninyo, ano yung mga downloadable na when Regina Rica opens, uh, open na tayo. Uh, well, you're ready, no? And bring your own ball pens, no? Kasi walang hirapan <laughs> daw ng ball pens sa Regina Rica. At magkakaroon tayo ng online, uh, may, may selling tayo ng mga food also, food items, no? Sa Regina Rica when we open. Pero sa ngayon, if you'd like to uh, help Regina Rica, you can, uh, you can ask, no, for may mga, uh, mag para baka magkaroon tayo ng pizza, eh, no? Uh, or magkaroon tayo ng, uh, di ba yung ina-order ninyo palagi yung uh, lumpia, no? May lumpia siyang high tayo na mahaba, no? Na vegetarian, plant-based, o may lumpia tayo na uh, masyado ninyong in demand, no? You can still order from Regina Rica. Or look at the FB online page natin, no? And see in what way you could help 
Regina Rita. Right now, we are going to have the prayer for healing. Itong prayer for healing is something uh, for me, for me. Uh, it is miraculous also in the sense na it is composed by Sister Epi and it is composed and really inspired by the Holy Spirit because she was told by, by um, the owner of Hit Production, Sister, give me something for five minutes. And then she went into quiet. After some quiet, then she said, then, then the, 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 the person said, uh, go in the, in the cubicle para to say whatever you want to say. And as she goes in the cubicle, the prayer was formed in her heart and in her mind. And so the prayer is really something that comes from the heart. And um, it is going to be prayed uh, right now. And I hope that you're going to pray in your heart together with sister and together with all of us and put in the, in the front of Mama Mary, put in the, the, the feet of Mama Mary all of your uh, requests, all of your sufferings, all of your um, needs, but also all of your joys and all of your happiness. So we are going to pray the prayer for healing. Dear God, you said come to me, all of you who are tired and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. I come to you today, right now. Please touch every pore, every fiber, every cell of my body. Touch my mind, my heart, my spirit. Fill me with hope. Teach me to believe that with God nothing is impossible. Let me forget and forgive all events that make me sad. And when I worry, teach me to rely on you. Help me to believe that nothing happens by chance. And everything that happens has a reason. I trust that no matter what, you will fight for me. I only need to be still. I need not fear anymore. Help me. Heal me. Hug me. Be here in my pain. Blessed pain. Holy pain. Blessed pain. Holy pain, I accept your will, but touch every part of me that needs healing. Heal my body, heal my heart, heal my mind, heal my spirit, heal my pocket, heal my memories. I have come to you with my burdens. You will give me peace. You will give me rest. You will give me healing. And this I believe. I believe that I am healed. I believe that I am whole. I believe that I now live life to the full. Mother Mary, Regina Rosari, intercede for me to Jesus, your Son, Jesus, the great healer, the great provider.
is calling for us all to gather so near. Regina Rosari, please reign in our country, please reign in our hearts, and don't ever depart. Oh, the lady is waiting on top of the hill. She's calling for us all to gather so near. Mother of mercy, please heal all our pain. Regina Rosari, She's calling for us all to gather so near. Regina Rosari, please reign in our country. Please reign in our hearts and don't ever Space Online, featuring Sunday Psalms and Songs. We are your host for tonight's program, the Dominican Sisters of Regina Rosari and our lay mission partners, bidding you all a happy evening's rest. And Sister Epi gives you her uh, prayers and blessing. See you again next time, next week, next Sunday. Sumainyo ang kapayapaan.